Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. In the last episode, we climbed up here and got wrecked by the Caribou Lou. But wait, there's a cave over here. Why didn't I check this out? Well, I didn't know there was going to be a fight up there. Let's see what's in here first, besides strange music. Strange! Alright, we got a mischievous mole. I like the music. Awesome. I've been trying to get better at this, or I should say better. I've been trying to figure out this combo attack thing. Um, apparently I was pressing it too fast. Maybe I do like more quarter notes instead of double. I was doing like eight notes. I was I was going like da 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 da, and instead of doing like da da da. Now maybe I'm supposed to do. I don't know. I was doing too fast. I, I feel like whatever I was doing, I was doing too fast. I was doubling what I needed to be doing. I mean, at this point in the game, it probably doesn't matter if I do combos well. They, I mean, the game hasn't even taught me about them yet. So, I mean, most games teach you about something like that before it matters. So, I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm sure there will be a sparrow somewhere that's like, Hey, have you been comboing this whole time? You've been able to combo this whole time. Anyway. We'll, we'll wait until that happens. How about that? So anyway, in between episodes, I actually did, after dying, it restarted the game right where I left off dying, and all the items that I used in battle still stayed used. So I didn't save it before I fought the battle, so I kind of just said, fuck it. You know, I used a couple healing items, but I got plenty of healing items. What I did is I went ahead and traded my items around a little bit, so it was a little more made a little bit more sense in terms of who was holding what items like i made sure everybody's holding healing items now basically so anyway let me save it real quick and then i'll show you how my inventory is looking right now i might actually use uh we'll see some of my healing items are pretty weak sauce healing items but i'll show you what i've done and i've also done one other thing also i should probably start saving it in another slot huh somebody mentioned that and i'm like yeah usually i do hold at least two save slots i don't know what the fuck i've been doing um, but yeah, you see how I have the mini mini charm equipped to flint now and I was trying to figure out what the hell was going on Like how come I couldn't equip it? Well, that's because I when I was trading items around I didn't actually give flint the items. So let me show you how the inventory thing See, this is actually ev this is this is all of flint's inventory. This is all of uh, was this, What was this guy's name again? I already forgot that dude's name. Well, whatever. This is funky's inventory. What the fuck is your name again? Why did I forget your name? Damn it. Now I feel not. Oh man, I feel jacked up for forgetting his name. Anyway, he's the thief guy. Another thing someone he mentions is I could I should try to use his ability in battle. And yes, obviously proof that we're coming right back to where we left off. Duster, that was his name. Sorry, I didn't say his name out loud much other than when we first got him. So sorry if I forgot his name. All right, so somebody said that his ability is actually useful in battle. Let's try it. Wall staple. I should have tried it in battle before. I I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. Wall staples. Get wrecked, bitch. The reconstructed character was pinned down. Can't move. Oh, that's actually sweet. It's like stop. Alright. Cool. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna just pound away. Hopefully get some combos in there. Just pound away. Come on, get some combos. I keep I seem to keep getting two hits with uh Flint. You generated a burst ah uh, shit, not a, not a, not an intense burst of steam. Quick, staple him to the wall again. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. And that makes it so he can't do his steam attack. Okay, so that, now he's pretty much rendered useless. Sucks to be this guy. Anyway, this battle's already over now. Super wrecked. This battle's over. Oh shit. He went berserk. Shit, shit, shit. Well. Yeah, nice combo, bro. Um, okay. Let's do that again. Uh, let's go and just staple his ass to the wall again. Yeah. And while he's stapled, maybe I'll... Oh, it didn't work! Oh, that's bad. Oh, good, he attacked Flint. I should probably heal. Oh, never mind. I think I just won. Yeah! yeah. Okay. First boss battle completed! Uh, I mean, if you can consider that a boss. Based on that awesome music we were just listening to, I would call that a boss. Anyway. Bam! Eat that, pig, mo pig masked mother... Yeah, that's right. Walk away. Alright, so what's up with this machine? Incredibly suspicious object. Does anyone guess as to what it is? You know what it is. Lying on the ground is a notebook with a pig nose like mark on the cover. Give it a read? Sure. Flint picked up the notebook and read it. The following is written in poor handwriting. 
All the creatures around here suck. We need to make them cooler. So the theme will be tougher, rougher, badder. We'll mix and match this and that to create whole new things no one's ever seen before. I dub it the Fascinating Chimera Project. Let's reconstruct and modify stuff slowly and steadily. Got a pig mark notebook, okay. That sounds effed up. You're gonna take creatures and mix and match and make fucking chimeras? That's jacked up, man. That's, that's not cool. Anyway, I'm gonna start making a second save now. I should have started that already in this episode, but should I start? Should have started that way back. I should have at least two saves, so you know, just in case something goes wrong. Also, someone said I should not trust emulators and save, do like a quick save, and I probably should. You're probably right, but I just haven't got around to it yet. We'll be all right. We're not that far into the game yet. So, okay, they they flew away in a Pikmin ship, the, the onion as it was called. That's cool. So, okay, the sparrow. You got anything useful to say? Chirp, chirp. Sparrow advice! Allow me to explain skills to you. Oh, sorry for being so sudden. Anyway, you and all your party members have special skills you can use during battle. These skills might be centered around items, physical actions, or whatever else. Basically, it's different for each person. For details, press start to bring up the menu. And from there, you can check everyone's skills from the status screen. It'd be a real waste to neglect your special skills, so give it a try. Well, now to end this with a sparrow-like... Chirp. Chirp, chirp, indeed. All right. Anything else we can do up here? Or are we, uh... Cliff has crumbled. It doesn't look like there's any way to get across. Well, that's lame. Okay. Well, then. Are we just going back down with sad news that we effed up some pig monsters, creation of caribou, Frank Franken car uh, I was going to call it Franken deer, but it was a caribou. Hmm, how can I how can I combine the words caribou and Frankenstein? I don't know. Yo, I'm glad the uh, thief arch proved useful, but our problems still haven't solved. And, uh, yeah, I know we're pretty fucked right now. Everyone seems so cold. I'm actually pr burning up though. Okay. But the cold. Yeah, I hope you well. Oh, does it catch cold too? Oh, I bet you if we go back, they'll be done moving the tree. Flint. We found the kids! It seems they fell into the river and washed up here. I'll look after Funky G. You just hurry and see him. Come, Funky G. What? Why? You don't want me to take... Why can't I take my dog with me? I don't understand. Why? Why? Um... I, but I wanna... I wanna take the dog. The dog. Anyway, my kids are good. That's good to hear. Now is a wonderful person, so I'm sure God will look out for her. Okay. Tessie's tending to the kids right now. Hurry up and go see him. All right, I will, I will. Funky's gonna be just just fine, just fine. Little kid. Flint, we found the children. Yeah, that's cool, thanks. I'm sure you know I was taking shelter from the rain somewhere. This forest would never do anything to hurt the people of Tazmili Village. If anyone ever dares hurt Hinawa, I'll kick their butts, even if it's P Pillbug or an ant. What the? No mercy, basically. Okay. You guys are cool, I guess. Oh. No, I thought we were going up this way. Never mind. We're going off to the right, and I saw another frog. And there are frogs everywhere in this game. You can save it every two goddamn seconds. Anyway. In which case, I shall. Save it again. I wonder how much longer chapter one is. Give my regards to the next frog you meet, as usual. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Oh, Flint! Duster! This way, this way! Okay, Abbott. Hey, Abbott! And there are my children. I can see them already. Awesome. Are they naked right now? Wrapped up? Because I see their clothes over there on the right. Doesn't matter. They're safe and sound. My sons! Oh, wait, what? Lucas is talking? Okay. Dad! I didn't expect Lucas to talk. He didn't talk in the beginning. I made some in it tea, Flint. Please have some. It'll warm you up. Okay, thank you. Here, everyone else should take a break and get warm, too. Alright, but what about my wifey? Don't give a shit about the kids. Where's the wifey? That's it. We're just we're just done. We found the kids. Hoorah! 
guess they still haven't found Hinawa. Where the heck could she be? I don't know. I wonder what they'll get to eat when their mom gets back. I hope she comes back soon. What they'll get to eat? They're gonna fucking eat tacos, duh. I wonder where Klaus and Lucas fell into the river. In any case, I'm just glad they're okay. Yeah, me too. That's... I, I'm ecstatic about that. Thank goodness they're okay. What a relief. Yeah, indeed. We haven't found an owl yet, but for now, you should warm yourself up by the fire. If you keep this up, you'll wind up worse off than her. Hey, 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 don't you say worse off than her. You don't even know what's wrong with her. And how dare you? You consider a little bastard. It seems they both fell into the river and got washed downstream. Poor little things. Let's talk to him. Klaus doesn't say shit. Lucas says, Dad. That's all he says. Okay. Flint! Uh-oh. It's Bronson. This guy. What's up, Bronson? What's going on? Something wrong? Flint! I'm not sure what to say, but just stay calm and hear me out. Okay. I have good news, and I have bad news. Which do you want to hear first? Do I really get to choose? No. No, let me start with the good news first. Oh, everyone gather around. I picked up a giant Drago Fang. It'll make for a great weapon. I figured you could probably use it. Okay, cool. As for the bad news... The bad news is... It's where I found the Drago Fang. Oh, shit. It was in your... It was pierced through your wife's heart. No! That, no, no. Wow. Oh, that's fucked up. What a, what a Disney way to start things off. <laughs> Bronson. I mean, Bronson. Flint. <laughs> I'm all out of sorts. I can't even read anymore. Flint, just try to stay calm. I think the only reason Klaus and Lucas are safe and sound now is because Hinawa risked her life to protect them. Man, we get to name Hinawa and everything, and now she's dead already? That's not cool. That's not cool. Flint. Get off of me! No! Oh, jeez. What the... Oh, my God. What the... Hell, dude, calm, um, dude, this is cr <laughs> Flint. Shut the fuck up. Flint, I, I'm not sure what to say. Please try to pull yourself together. Just fucking talk to me. <laughs> oh, shit. oh my god, this is fucked up. Oh my god, this is this is exactly how it should be, man. Wow, get off of me. Flint, what are you doing? Klaus and Lucas are watching. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's jacked up. Man. Oh, my God. Really? The mom dies already? Like, we didn't even get to see her again at all? Oh, now we get a flash. Oh, great. Let's make me sad with a flashback. Good, good idea. Let's do that. Because awesome. Great. Cause that's gonna make this feel so much better. Not even cool, man. This must be when they went off to the grandpa's house. Hi, Dad! They'll be just fine. No pig monsters will do some shit to cause them to die. That'll never happen. That's fucked up, man. That's, that's fucked up. Quit showing her. Stop it. Don't do this. Stop it. It's like we're having a big heiress moment right now. We're, all we're, I mean, this, we are having the music, so I shouldn't say we're missing the music. The music is there. Just we didn't get as much time to freaking see her, and then now she's just gone. Whoa, looks like he just locked us up because we were freaking out. No one's ever been thrown into Taz Millie's jail before. You have the honor of being the first. Why do you even have a jail if you don't even use it? What's the point? Repurpose that shit. You make it something else. Whatever. Flint, 
You gave Ollie and Abbott a real walloping, but they're all right now. About Hinawa. I can only offer my deepest condolences. That ain't good enough, bro. Still, why would a Drago attack someone? They're such friendly creatures. That's a good question. Probably wasn't really a Drago. Take it easy in here for a while. I know you must be having a hard time with this, but try to get some sleep. A Drago thing that was stuck in Nawa's chest. I'll hold on to it for you. When you get out of here, come drop by my house and get it. Don't forget now. Oh, you don't think I'm gonna, you think I'm gonna forget that? Do you realize? I don't think you realize. This appears to have been unused for a long time. Wow. Okay, that's a hard hitter of a beginning of a of a let of, of of a game. Wow. Just wow. All right. Like this is such a like reasonably realistic world, and to have one of the characters that you straight up name in the beginning of the game, you can name her whatever you want. I just love to default as Hanawa. It doesn't matter. Lucas's mom. Flint's husband, Flint's husband, Flint's wife, and Klaus, is, let's not forget Klaus, Klaus's mom also, dead. Just dead. Twin sons, momless. Flint, wifeless. Game, womanless at this point. There's no woman party members now. Also, what do we do? We, um, am I supposed to do something? Maybe we can bust it open by doing this? No, that doesn't work. Uh... Uh, uh, are we supposed to do something? Are we just supposed to stand still for a while? I'm confused. We're supposed to keep mashing the button? I don't know, man. Is there anything to interact with in here? Look out the window, maybe? Appears to have been used. I mean, can we push something? Can we just walk out the door? I don't know, man. I don't know. Are we supposed to just stand? Are we supposed to stand still for a while? Maybe if I just stand still, not something will happen. I'm very confused on what we're supposed to do right now. I mean, you sit there and you think about what you've done. Like, try to find your wife, cause she's gone and now she's dead. Like, that's what I want to sit here and think about right now. Can you at least give me a bottle of booze or something? Anybody? Sleep. Can I sleep? No, I don't want to put the game in sleep mode. <laughs> can I sleep? Yeah, I can go to sleep. What about key items? Uh, can we do something with this? You picked up the pig mark notebook and read it. It's written in poor handwriting. All the creatures around here suck. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. We already read this. I'm not going to read that again. Um, wait. Wait. No, no, this is the same shit. Okay, yeah, we already read that. I don't know, I'm just trying to find stuff to do that, like, with my items that I have. Anything else we can interact with? Scrap of cloth? I mean, we can't interact with that. It's supposed to be a piece of Hinawa's dress. Tazmili map? Oh, we can look at the map. Hey, look at the map. Actually, this map is pretty detailed. I like it. Um... I don't know what we're supposed to do. I don't know what we're supposed to do. I, I, I honestly, I don't know. Okay, there we go. Jesus. Been waiting around for hell long. I don't know if I was supposed to interact with the door or whatever, but eventually, look who it is. Dad, it's me, Klaus. Hey, Klaus. How you doing? I told Lucas to come too, but he's been crying at Mom's grave all this time. Dad, I'm gonna leave this apple here. The core might be hard, but the core, the core might be too hard to eat. But be sure to eat it. Okay, thanks, son. I'm gonna get stronger. I'm gonna get so strong even Dragos won't stand a chance against me. Dad, I. Okay. Good luck with that, son. Thanks for the apple? Sure. Flint got the apple. Mmm. Subtle am emanations. Inside the apple, there was a hand file. Flint got the hand file. Well, then. The lock is rusted. Use the hand file to break the lock? Sure, because we're MacGyver. Why not? Okay. 
few shimmy shams later. And booyah, doors open. Sweet! The hand file became unusable. Oh no. What will I do without my hand file? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, all right. So, wow, okay, after that long away, I see I really did have time to sit there and think about all of my problems for like five minutes. That was ridiculous. Waiting around in real time, not always the funnest. Flint! I'm not really sure what to say, bro. Uh, uh, what happened to Nawas was a terrible tragedy. I can't say I know how you're feeling. And Nawas' burial ended without incident. Lucas has been crying at her grave ever since. His poor little heart seems like it's about to break in two. If there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know. Anytime. Alright, Duster. Thanks for your words, I guess. Oh, man. What a emotional roller coaster the beginning of this game has been. For real, though. So can we visit people now and shit? Or what the hell, man? I don't know. Let's look around, shall we? We should be able to visit people now, right? Okay. So let's start raiding people's houses. Cuckoo! Cuckoo! Cuckoo, cuckoo! Can we steal this bag? No problem here. Nothing to, nothing to interact with, huh? Nothing worth stealing here, huh? Alright, bug it. Next! House. Or, yeah, there was something over here, right? There, oh, I, for, I forgot if there was another house over here. I could always just look at the map. Hey, look, what's this? No problem. No problem! But it looks like something we can interact with. Everything looks so vivid and colorful, it stands out to the point where I want to interact with it, and yet nothing. No problems here, just a purple book that looks conspicuous. Sorry, I was thinking the sound I was, that I was hearing was like like walking or bumping, but it's actually part of the beat. It's got like a do 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 Alright. Run. Oh, wait, wait. Who's this? Oh, this is that. Yeah, this is not. Wait, what? Have I met you before, Nana? I'm Nana. I like the ocean. Oh, yeah? Well, then. That's a riveting tale you have there. But, see, you see, girl, everyone likes the ocean. Who doesn't like the ocean? Also, are we talking to all these, or... Oh, we're just making them fly away. Alright, well, then. Just... Just the box here. All right, well then. I mean, I figured I'd make sure i just take a look around since we're here. and I don't know what else to do with myself right now. What are we, sea otters? I don't know. Sorry, we were just practicing our comedy routine. You guys are going to have a comedy routine? Duh, what are we, a freak show? Seems better than what are we, sea otters? Or maybe no dozen. What are we? Sea Otters has more edge to it. Alright. Uh, totally. Because you make me laugh so much harder with the Sea Otter one. Yeah, that's it. Funny. Ha ha. Like, like gut-busting hilarity that I can't stop laughing about. Oh, look. Duster's gone. Well, then. I don't want to talk to him anymore anyways. Oh, the TP dude. TP dude's home. What was his name? Reggie or something? No, he's not even home. It's just open. Wow, why does this guy have cool music? This appears to be one of Reggie's artistic creations. A totem pole? You mean because he's an in because he's an Indian? He's a he's a reggae Indian. That's what I'm gonna call him. Is he lives in a TP? He's got totem poles, but he's fucking. He was reggae as fuck. He was like Jamaican. If you need something from the map, loving the map, bonin' maps, and it must be a map. Yes. Hmm. That's not what you need? Oh, Klaus and Lucas? I believe they're at the Sunset Cemetery north of the village. Oh, yeah. I know where that is. Been there, done that. It was locked last time I was there. Mr. Flint! What's wrong? Why the long face? Come stop by our place. We're baking nut bread. Okay. Totally. Uh, I don't really have any inventory space, but if, I, if I'm not mistaken, I am pretty much out of space. But whatever, let's talk to people anyways. Please cheer up, okay? I'm sure that's what Hinao wants, too. I guess. My mommy can make bread and cookies out of nuts you bring her. She can make a cookie with one, and she can make a bread with three. It's really yummy stuff. I did pick up a bunch of nuts while I was out in the forest, so she can make some, some cookies and shit for us with the nuts. Fair enough. I'll have to keep note of that. And get some nut bread and nut cookies out of it. 
That was a very nice grave old Nippolite made. But, but I had to come back home. Seeing Lucas's sobbing face was just too much for me to handle. I thought you were going to give me something. You're not going to give it to me right now? You were going to give me the, the fang. Fine. You don't want to give me the fang right now? I'll come back for it later, you son of a trick. Thomas's Bazaar. Flint, I'm sorry I was so useless. Anyways, this is the Village Bazaar. If you need anything, just go ahead and take it. Really? Just take it. That's a running bomb. You used to find yourself in trouble. Will you take it? Nah. Okay, come back if you ever change your mind. You can get those on a regular basis. That's a nut. You can eat nuts as is, or you can have Caroline bake them into bread or cookies. Will you take this one? No, because I don't have any space for this shit. Can I sell stuff to you? I don't have any space, man. If I could sell some stuff, I could probably make some space. Or if I had an inventory box. Actually, is there an inventory box in this game? Because we had, like, the the, uh, the service that would come pick stuff up for us in the last game, Earthbound. Oh, no, if that's the case with this one. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Okay, where are we at? Where are we on um, the map? Hold on. Map. Okay, so there's no house down there but mine. There are three houses to the left side, or the right side of the village. I think I might just go... Do I want to go to the cemetery in this episode? I kind of want to, but I also kind of don't want to. I kind of want to wait on it. Let's just explore for a bit. Oh, uh, hello there. I wasn't the one who decided to place you in that jail cell. Really, it wasn't me. But then, who was it? I don't even know who you are. I understand how you must be feeling, but please don't lash out at those around you. Oh, I'll beat him with a stick. Don't you fucking tell me what to... I'll beat you with a stick, lady. I'm not sexist when it comes to beating people with a stick. No way. Whew, so busy, so busy. Sebastian. How come there's always somebody named Sebastian? Always somebody named Seabass. Kick his ass, Seabass. Oh, this kid. Hey, I'm sorry I beat you with a stick, kinda. But not really. I don't have any hard feelings so for you. I'm very open-hearted, you see. That's nice. So you're okay if I beat you with a stick some more for pissing me off? Is that okay? I mean, it would make me feel better. So, I mean, if you're willing to make me feel better, just let me do what I want. Flint, um, um, please just forget that you hit me. I'm, gonna go f I'm going to forget about it. Compared to your pain, this is nothing at all. Yeah, that's right, bitch. Don't you fucking dare. Flint, um, Abby and Ollie don't hold anything against you, so please don't be worried. That's right. You better not. I'll beat you all down with sticks. My rage knows no bounds. Oh, oh hello, Flint. Are, are you ready? Are you already out and about again? Have you eaten? Um, no, but I'm about to eat your face if you ask another stupid question. <sighs> Good lord. All these people, man. They don't know, man. They don't know. They're trying. I'm not, I'll give them that. They're trying, but they don't know, man. They don't even know. Flint? Uh, you really lost it during that wild outburst of yours. I know you had your reasons, but it's wrong to act out your aggressions on others. If you're looking for villagers, almost everyone is at the Sunset Cemetery. Everyone loved Hinawa. Okay, we'll probably have to re-explore the village if er when everybody's at home. Oh, look, here's Reggie-san, man. We can forget about happy things, man. We can probably forget sad things, too. People have the power to forget. Yeah. That was like the worst three lines of dialogue I ever read in my life. That was three different accents I just did. I don't even know. There were three different ones. None of them were consistent at all. Anyways, here we are again. Nippolite. Mr. Flint, uh, this was such a uh, terrible tragedy. Words fail me. I've probably prepared a grave of finest quality for you. Your wife's resting in it right now, but when the time comes, she'll be able to rest right beside him. It's a top-down grave, it is. Thanks for making us tandem graves, because I totally wanted to hear that today. It seems that Klaus was the first person in Hinawa's grave this morning. When I called out to him he was, as he was leaving, he gave a tiny little smile, and then suddenly dashed off. Tiny little smile, huh? Grave. <laughs> this appears to be a new type of grave. Okay. First we found grave, and we found new type grave. A good quality grave. Oh, oh, this Okay, so this poor quality? This grave's restoration process appears to be gravely lacking. Oh my god. You're going to make a pun about a grave in a graveyard? Really? That just happened? That just happened. A grand old grave. Okay. 
It's a grand old grave, such a high flying grave. It's a grave that you cannot be ashamed of, cause it's a grave. This gravestone is unusually wobbly. Is that right? Wait, it's unusually wobbly. Does that mean I can push it? Push it real good? Hmm, maybe. Life is too short to act gravely. Oh, god damn it. Another goddamn pun on a grave. Come on. A great, 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 great. Oh, cha -cha -cha. So now you're going to make a tongue twister out of it. Nothing personal, but I'm not good at dealing with gloomy things like this. Even so. <sighs> a grave of grave consequences. God damn it. I'm going to. A grave, grave. Hey, at least they came up with such a clever one for that one. This gravestone is unusually wobbly. Not sure what that means. It must mean something. Reserved? Oh. <laughs> okay, see that I laugh at. I don't laugh at your stupid puns, but I laugh at when it says the grave says reserved. Because who's it reserved for? Someone who's gonna die very soon. Alright, here we go. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know She barely even got to live life. Wouldn't you agree? I can't drink. I can't not drink at a time like this. Yeah, I, neither can I, dude. Hook me up. I need something right now. But uh, you know, I was always so kind to, to, to my wife. I wish I could say more for you, but I've never been at, never been at such a loss for words. Yeah. Oh, Flint. Hello, Mr. Flint. Did class go off somewhere? Uh. Yet? Yeah, mm, I don't know. Did he? But he said he wouldn't see each other for a while. When is a while? Tomorrow? So wait, Klaus ran away? He came and gave me the apple with the thing and then he ran away? I thought he just came back here. Or maybe he went back home. Hinawa dying. I just don't want to believe it. Flint, you and Hinawa, you two loved each other so much that even the little birds in the forest were jealous. And that'll never change even after this. Thanks, Jonal. Duh, sorry for my old man talking this, Flint. Ah, uh, Biff. My deepest condolences to you. <sighs> Alright, this is tough to deal with, but I'm just gonna have to stop here. I know we're about to see the grave, but I can't handle that. I can't handle it. Nope, not happening. I have to emotionally prepare myself for next time. Oh, sorry, had to burp. <laughs> emotionally prepare myself for next time on Mother 3, where sadness will ensue when we sit there with our son Lucas over the grave of our wife. That's not, and the mother, I, it's not, what a jacked up way to start a game. But now we have a motivation, so I like that. If you're, if you if ever a game was good at building motivation for whatever the hell we're, we're mad about, or, you know, needing to accomplish, that shit is established. All pigs must die, or whatever the, uh, the freaking Dragos. Well, I'm thinking the Dragos got manipulated somehow, or it was, it was like a Chimera Drago that killed her. Or whatever. Either way, it's those goddamn pig monsters, and I know it. Or at least somebody who's leading those bitches. Either way, ooh boy. See you guys in the next episode. Peace!